Greetings, programming McMillanites. It's Dr. Tyson McMillan, broadcasting from my home. Ordinarily, we'd be doing this class lecture style, but we find ourselves in unusual circumstances where face-to-face -face is not reasonable. However, we're going to still give you 100% of the education that I would give you in class, and we're going to do our best to really, really support you. I'm a founding faculty member of the Trinity River Campus, and we're going to come together and really come together to help support you during these times. I'm here for you. You can always email me at tyson.mcmillan at my.tccd.edu, tyson.mcmillan at my.tccd.edu. That's better than going to the at tcc.edu, and I forward all emails from that anyway. Let's get right to it. Uh, on the first day of class, what we typically would do is introduce ourselves. What I ask that you do is go ahead and do the same thing, introduce yourself using the message board post. The best way really to navigate our class is going through the process as I'm gonna share my screen here. Let's show you how to best navigate the Blackboard environment now that we're looking at it through this process thereof. And so I'm gonna share my screen and show you that we begin our class here and I'm in the announcements area as we speak. But as you come into the class, you'll be greeted by the home page. And I really, really love making it to where the calendar is a great point of contact for you as students. What I ask that you do here in this programming fundamentals two course is really kind of work through the menu calendar and student view here. Let's do that, that's even better. Student view will show you what you see and I can see what you see and vice versa. I really recommend that you click on the calendar due dates and you'll never go wrong with all the due dates that are possible in this class. And so let's kind of maximize the screen there, get maximum real estate. So we are on extended spring break now as per the TCC policy. So you don't have any due dates this week, but I do want to point out to you that I have an orientation, just a real quick kind of checklist. If you click on go to survey there, it'll take you to a real quick, examination to make sure that you understand the expectations of this class. We talk about spending eight to 15 hours per week minimum, especially if this is if you're still new to programming, it will take that time and some more. I'll be here to support you, but programming is a very, very internal process. Certainly complete that survey so you know exactly where you stand. But what I was mentioning, the unit one discussion board here due on the 26th, if you go to that discussion board and kindly Posts create a new thread. Step-by-step -step instructions for what I'm looking for here. I'll be very, very clear about the requirements in terms of length and that type of thing. Make sure that you also reply to two fellow classmates to get maximum points. Since we don't have an in-class lecture, I kindly ask that you really share your heart and speak there so we can kind of get to know you in the classroom overall. You'll find various videos about me and my love of teaching and Google Tyson McMillan like I do at least once a week. You'll also see my joy of teaching in my TysonMcMillan.com webpage. But certainly that's a good start if you complete the introduction message board post. I highly recommend for the navigation portion of the class that you also go to lessons here. Lessons will really lead you quite well. We talk about input validation, which is very, very important. We can never really be guaranteed to know that the user is entering the correct information. In this input validation lesson, I give you some step-by-step -step techniques that will help you really do that. What we've gone to in this class is using an online IDE, Integrated Development Environment, IDE, called REPL. And it's available here on the left-hand side in our class menu. I kind of link right to it over as you'll look over here into these different elements thereof. You'll, you'll see this online C++ IDE REPL. That will open up in a new tab. And if it's your first time using REPL, I highly recommend that you come over here to the side and that you, you sign up. You sign on using your Gmail. Very, very important that you are preserving the code that you're doing offline. In fact, let me just kind of go back over here and open it in a new incognito window window because I think that'll give you the experience that you see on the first time. So open a new incognito window window and I'm going to highly recommend that you do your work by clicking on sign up and then make sure you log on with your Gmail account. Okay. I think I got mine stored in here but we'll see.
again. Okay, for teachers, it's a little bit different, but you want to make sure that you provide your credentials that you know you're supposed to as a student. Oops. The good thing about this experience is that you now see that REPL knows who I am. Therefore, the code that I, I work with, with C++ in particular, will be saved uh, to the REPL, my REPLs, very, very important. You come back over here, you have your my REPLs. It's a nice repository of all your different codes that you do. So throughout this class, we'll be clicking on new REPL and we'll be using C++ 11 and we'll be starting it out by saying test REPL or whatever the file names I, I give you. I'll be very specific in terms of what those file names are. All right. Over time, you can be using this little nice tool over here for version control to really, really keep track of uh, the GitHub, which is also going to be very, very important. Employers have told us that they really, really want to make sure that you get great experience in terms of sharing your work and some in terms of collaborating. So GitHub is a great, great place for us to do that, to be able to show your work. We'll, we'll have more on that as we advance throughout the class. But your ultimate objective right now is to really, really become familiar with the class menu and work your way through that. I'm gonna be producing various videos here and various lectures throughout the class in this setting to really help us move forward. I ask that you begin working on the unit one assignments right away, begin working out through, throughout the orientation Really introduce yourself so I know who you are. If you also look in the announcements area, I have a 10 point extra credit assignment called DIS, D-I-S-C. It's a personality type that's used in business. And you might find that very, very informative to see about your different leadership style and your different learning style as it relates to programming, that type of thing. Let's get through this together, McMillan Knights. I'm there for you and look forward to having some future videos. You keep up the good work. Thank you for giving me the honor of being your teacher. We're gonna get through this together. And I look forward to serving you as we work on these great processes thereof of learning programming fundamentals too, based on C++, here with Dr. T, Dr. Tyson McMillan, and you and I working together to solve this and really, really serve the people of TCC. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to hearing from you in the future.